Odors can influence how we perceive colors. A recent study shows that odors can influence the way people perceive colors. Experiments have shown that unconscious associations with smell distort our perception of colors. We are constantly bombarded with stimuli from our surroundings. One way our brain makes sense of this abundance of information is by combining information from two or more senses. This means that one sense can unconsciously influence another. For example, we associate higher temperatures with warmer colors, and colors with the taste of specific dishes, for example, the taste of orange with the color of the same name. A study published in Frontiers in Psychology experimentally demonstrated that one such connection is between our sense of smell and vision, which may influence our color perception. Our research shows that the presence of different scents influences how people perceive color, said Dr. Ryan Ward from Liverpool John Moores University in the UK, the lead author of the paper. In their experiments, scientists used sensory deprivation, i.e. the removal or significant reduction of stimuli coming from the environment that affect one or more senses. 24 adults aged 20 to 57 took part in this study. Throughout the experiment, participants sat in front of the screen in a specially prepared room devoid of unwanted stimuli. They did not use deodorants or perfumes, and no one reported color or smell impairment. All odors in the room where the subjects stayed were removed using an air purifier. Then one of six scents, randomly selected from caramel, cherry, coffee, lemon and mint, was emitted into the room through an ultrasonic diffuser for five minutes. In a previous study, we showed that the smell of caramel often cross-associates with dark brown and yellow, as does coffee with dark brown and red, cherry with pink, red and purple, mint with green and blue, and lemon with yellow, green and pink, Ward explained. Dot. However, the aim of the new study was to determine how smell affects the perception of the same color. Participants were shown a square filled with a random color on a screen. Participants were then asked to manually adjust the color on the screen to what they perceived as a neutral gray using two sliders. After the final selection was recorded, the procedure was repeated until all odors had appeared five times. The results showed that participants tended to move one or both sliders too far from neutral gray depending on the odor emitted. For example, when exposed to the smell of coffee, they perceived gray as more reddish-brown than a truly neutral gray. Similarly, when they came into contact with the smell of caramel, the gray color was enriched with a hint of blue. The presence of the odor therefore predictably disrupted participants' color perception. The exception was the mint scent. In this case, participants' choice of shade differed from the typical cross-association shown for the other odors and corresponded to a true gray. The results of the experiment show that the perception of gray changed depending on the fragrance sprayed. They also suggest that the role of associations in the processing of sensory stimuli is strong enough to influence how we perceive information received through various senses. Scientists emphasize the need to investigate how far-reaching these connections are. We need to know to what extent odors influence color perception. For example, does the effect shown here still hold for less common scents, or even for scents encountered for the first time? Admitted Ward. Asteroids may contain elements outside the periodic table. The density of some objects orbiting in the solar system is so high that even if they were composed of the heaviest elements known on Earth, this would not explain the results obtained in the measurements. This suggests that they may contain ultra-dense material containing super-heavy elements unknown on our planet. Predictions of the behavior of such elements can help explain the properties and structure of dense asteroids. In 2012, Benoit Carey estimated the mass of the asteroid 33 Polyhymnia based on its gravitational effects on other bodies in the solar system. However, the results obtained amazed him. 
The asteroid seemed too dense considering its size. This indicated an error in the calculations or an unknown, ultra-dense matter composed of super-heavy elements unknown on Earth. Super-heavy elements are those that have a large number of protons in the nucleus. This number is marked with the letter Z and is called atomic number. A few years ago, the periodic table was supplemented with four new elements. The heaviest of the new elements and the heaviest element in the periodic table in general, called a Ganesson, has Z equals 118. It was named after the academician and explorer Yuri Aganesian. It was first obtained in 2002 by bombarding Californium-249 with calcium-48 atoms. Although nothing heavier than a Ganesson has been observed, asteroids similar to 33 Polyhymnia may contain such elements. Jan Rafalski and his team from the Department of Physics at the University of Arizona in Tucson, USA suggest that these may be super-heavy elements with an atomic number higher than the current limit of the periodic table. They modeled the properties of such potential elements using the Thomas Fermi atomic structure model, focusing especially on the so-called island of nuclear stability predicted for Z equals 164. This work was published in EPJ+. Super-heavy elements are defined as those with Z above 104. Those with atomic numbers between 105 and 118 have been produced experimentally, but are unstable and have very short half-lives and are therefore of only academic and research importance. However, theoretical work suggests that there is an island of stability around atomic number 164. Such super-heavy elements should be more stable and last much longer. The density of elements increases with their atomic mass, so super-heavy elements can also be expected to be extremely dense. The densest stable element is rare osmium, Z equals 76, and its density is approximately 22.59 grams per cc and is approximately twice as high as that of lead. Astronomical objects with higher density are called compact ultra-dense objects, CUDO. The most famous miracle is the asteroid 33 Polyhymnia, which is located in the main asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Its density was calculated to be approximately 75 grams per centimeter 3. According to researchers from Rafalski's group, 33 Polyhymnia and similar objects may consist partly of elements above Z equals 118. Rafalski and his colleagues using the Thomas Fermi atomic structure model, attempted to characterize potential super-heavy elements. Their calculations confirmed predictions that atoms with about 164 protons in the nucleus were likely to be stable. Moreover, the results suggested that a stable element with Z equals 164 would have a density between 36.0 and 68.4 grams per cc. This is a range that approaches the value measured for asteroid 33 Polyhymnia. The goal of this study was to determine whether extreme density CUDOs could exist without the need to confuse the matter of strange or dark matter typically invoked in similar cases, the researchers wrote in the publication. Our mass density results allow us to hypothesize that if super-heavy elements are stable enough to exist in the cores of dense asteroids such as 33 Polyhymnia, the team added.